Along the road which leads to Srebrenica, ten years after the war, the evidence of unresolved bitterness between Serb and Muslim litters the valley. On a wall in a Serb village, someone has scrawled a savage message. The wire is a reference to the improvised handcuffs twisted round the wrists of victims. Today, Srebrenica is a Serb town. Only a few Muslims have returned here. It remains trapped in poverty and 80% of the town's people are unemployed. Serb refugees compelled to leave their towns and villages by the redrawing of the Bosnian map after the war have to make their lives in the old hotel in Srebrenica. Petko Petkovic told me his home village had been destroyed by Muslims in 1992. He said the fugitive Serb war criminals Karatic and Mladic, indicted for the Srebrenica massacre, are heroes. And he was angry that the Muslims had been given land for the memorial cemetery. Hasan Nuhanovic is in Holland again, trying to pursue his legal case against the Dutch state, waiting for the results of an appeal. Meanwhile, he has more information about how his mother died after being forced to leave the Dutch base in Srebrenica. She was then put in prison, and at one point, six Serbs came inside shouting, where is that Turk woman? She broke the glass on the window and cut her veins. And then the prison guards panicked and they, they took her to a hospital from which she never returned. You know, her body was dumped somewhere. I, I just can't uh, get information. Hassan now knows the names of two men involved in his mother's death. Both, he said, still held official positions. But without hard evidence, he's unable to pursue them. Saliha Osmanovic has come to Srebrenica Town Hall to plead with the local authorities for help with rebuilding her house. Still stranded in a tangle of bureaucracy, under pressure to leave her brother's house, she's increasingly desperate to find the funds to build a new roof on her old house. At last, she gets to see Abdurrahman Omic, who works on housing and reconstruction. Da znam da ne ganjam dalje papira više i 
da nema me nigdje eto ja ću vam ovo reći sve šta je urađeno u 2004. Po meni je to 10% od projekata iz 2003. godine. Ogroman broj projekata se smanjuje u ovoj godini. Pa od prilike ja se bojim da ne okreću glavu od Srebrenice, da ne smatraju da je to sve završeno, ali sam... In the old tunnels here in Tuzla, they store the bodies exhumed from mass graves, waiting to be identified. Now a new morgue has been built here, next to the tunnels, for the continuing flood of victims of Srebrenica. But so many bodies are arriving from the newly exhumed graves, they still need the tunnels to store the bodies. After years of work, there's still no end in sight. It's uh, very hard to estimate uh, something like that. They estimate that they will need at least three years to do exhumations of uh, remains, and uh, after that we can start with our part of the process. That's mean probably several years. In the laboratories of the International Commission on Missing Persons, the hard slog of identifying the remains of victims now has the sophisticated weapon of DNA matching. DNA is harvested from bone samples of victims and from blood samples of survivors. Uh, this is the room, actually the fridge, where we keep all the blood samples we have collected. The result has been a dramatic increase in the number of identifications. More than 1,500 now. Each identification that we're making has matched a person from Srebrenica, a Bosniak Muslim, who went missing in 1995. So it has proved to be a very good way to provide hard evidence regarding the identity of persons that were killed. Hira Katic lost her husband in the Srebrenica massacre. Now, after 10 years, she's been told that the ICMP forensic team may have identified his remains. The DNA match is clear, but Dr. Rifat Kasetovic still wants to confirm other details. Some questions about the dental record remain, since the body parts of other victims may have been confused in the mass grave. But Dr. Kasetovic now wants to check the clothing found with the body. Finally, Dr. Kasetovic 